Good evening. A special welcome to all our visitors and to those who are joining us virtually. This Mass is being offered for the special intention of Bonnie Vaness. Today will be a second collection immediately following the first collection for World Day of Vocations or Good Shepherd Sunday. We heed the Lord's call to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his harvest, Matthew 9:38, Luke 10:2. We ask for your prayers for the young people to courageously answer God's call to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. The Diocese of Calgary also asks for young generous donations today to support the education and formation of our seminarians and those in the permanent diaconate program. You can con donate online at catholicyyc.ca dot slash uh, give, I'm sorry, or through our parish. Our generosity is deeply appreciated. Thank you. St. Paul's Mother's Day plant fundraiser opened on April 15th. As always, there is a great selection of high quality hang-in baskets and potted annuals with several new items this year. Prices are the same as last year. Instructions on how to order and pick up can be found on our website and in the hallway. Don't forget to purchase your tickets after all the masses during the month of April and on May 4th for the authentic tamale lunch scheduled for Sunday, May 5th at 12.30 p.m. Please see our bulletin for more details on the above announcements. Thank you. Our entrance hymn is number 389 in glory and praise. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks. Please rise. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty ever living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Peter and John were speaking to the people about the resurrection of Jesus, the captain of the temple arrested them and placed them in custody. The next day, the rulers, elders, and scribes assembled. When they had made the prisoners stand in the midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man had been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is a stone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among human beings by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord.
the responsorial stone, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. I thank you that you have answered me and have become salvation the stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone this is the Lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes the stone that the builders rejected has become Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. The store that the builders rejected has become the A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has given us that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear sisters and brothers, our present Pope, Pope Francis, after, ever after he became a bishop, he used to wear a cross, the Good Shepherd Cross. And it is his wish that he wanted to be a Good Shepherd, and he still wears that cross. He wanted to have the mindset of the Good Shepherd, namely Jesus. He said that the shepherd should have the smell of the sheep. He also said that we have to, to reach out to the peripheries, peripheries where the sheep is abandoned like not simply concentrate on the big cities alone, but you have to reach out. I like his statement, the shepherd should have the smell of the sheep. That means that the shepherd should have close association, close contact association with the sheep. Jesus is the good shepherd, though a carpenter, by birth, by tradition, or by trade. And most of his disciples were fishermen. And then when he wants to talk about his own identity, he uses this, this, uh, the phrase that he is the Good Shepherd. Good Shepherd is the, is the identity in the Old Testament, taken from the Old Testament, God is going to be the shepherd since all the, and this good shepherd is uh, identity is given to God, given to Yahweh. Because the, the shepherds who were in charge of the sheep, they abandoned the sheep. They took advantage of the sheep and they were not in uh, working for the welfare of the sheep. And then God through the prophets said that he himself is going to be the shepherd of his people. We have many references in, prophet, in the book of prophet, in the prophet, prophetic saying uh, revealed and given to us. And St. John is giving this title, St. John the Evangelist is giving the title to Jesus as Jesus is the good shepherd. St. John, in a way, is saying that Jesus taking up the title as Good Shepherd means that he is God. He is God, Good Shepherd, 
that lays down his life for the sheep. Today is the gospel we heard that he said, I have the power to lay it down and I have the power to take it. So Jesus had the power. Saint John would say also say that he was there. He was there when the world was created. Remember the prologue of Saint John where the word was present when God created the world. And also Saint John would say that he, he fed the people who Jesus fed the people like God, likewise, like God during Moses' time. Likewise, he is also feeding the people uh, in the wilderness or the people came to listen to the word of God. He is feeding them. And in a way, point by point, St. John is saying that Jesus is God. Jesus is the, Jesus is the God that who came to bring salvation. St. Peter, very emphatic in today's first reading, he says, there is no other name under the sun given to men where there will be salvation. So Jesus is the only, only name given to all of us for our salvation. Jesus is the Good Shepherd, and when we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday, we are reminded of our own responsibility as the shepherds. In different ways, we exercise shepherding authority in the society or in the family or in the parish. We have the, the example of the Good Shepherd Good Shepherd is willing to lay down his life. Jesus came not to be served, but to serve and to lay down his life, and to lay down his life for the salvation of all of us. And this, this leadership is a unique one, not like any other leadership, leaders that we, we come across in the society, they, they, they make use of their position, they make use of the sheep for their own benefit and they, to advance their personal uh, interests. Whereas this, the Good Shepherd is totally caring and taking care of the sheep. That is, that is even uh, sacrificing his own life, his own life and then he is inviting everyone. Everyone, very. Psalm 23 is a very good psalm for our meditation. When I, when we read the Good Shepherd, uh, son, when we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday, Psalm 23 is important because where do we, where we, where do we are led to green pastures? Green pastures, not only simply the food, but the food that will bring eternal life. We are led to the food, the not, not only the nourishment of our human person, but to the food um, that would bring eternal life, namely the Eucharist. And then lots of uh, water, plenty of water, water that gushes forth from the from the Good Shepherd and that water that gives us life, life-giving water from the Good Shepherd. So we are, we are constantly taking care of the Good Shepherd and we have uh, to listen. We have to listen to the voice of the Shepherd and follow the voice of the Shepherd. Jesus said that, I know my own and my own know me. So we, have the, we should have the ability to listen to the voice of God, the voice of the Good Shepherd talking to us. And also Jesus and the Shepherd knows all of us by name. As we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter, this is Good, Good Shepherd Sunday, we are reminded of the, to pray for all the leaders in the church. And also we are invited 
and encouraged to support the, the, the formation of leaders in the church, particularly the formation of a priest and religious in the diocese and also the diaconate program, the different ways we can promote vocations. First and foremost, we have to pray for vocations. We have to pray for vocations. When it comes to vocations, we have a kind of a thinking, that is what I feel, that I feel that we pray and we donate money. However, we are not eager to be part of, part of the vocation because we don't want our grandchildren or children to become priests or nuns. We want other people to become and we support financially. We have to encourage. We have to encourage the members of this parish, members of our community, members of our family to receive, to accept the call, of, listen to the call of God. We pray that our celebration, uh, during our celebration, we pray for all the leaders of the world that in their, uh, in their role as a leader, they have the mindset of Christ, the willingness to serve and willingness to sacrifice, the willingness to bring the sacrificial love a reality in the world. I believe in God, the Father Almighty. the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus, the Good Shepherd, as a role model, as a Good Shepherd and Good Leader, as a role model for us. Strengthen us in our resolve to imitate, to imitate and to have the mindset of Christ. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those called to lay down their lives as priests, deacons, and in the consecrated life, that they will be faithful witnesses to the Good Shepherd in our midst, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people, that they may know the personal love of the Lord for them and respond with an open and generous heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The children and young ch people receiving the sacraments of First Eucharist and Confirmation this Easter season, may their encounter with the risen Lord transform their lives, empowering them as faithful witnesses of God's kingdom in word and in deed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In gratitude for all the special people in our lives who have acted as mentors and guides, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this flock called together by the Good Shepherd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For health and fullness of life for all who are sick and struggling with mental and physical health, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may rejoice with the resurrect, re resurrection of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your own personal intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the, for the good, for your Son, Jesus, the Good Shepherd, in our midst. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Our offertory hymn is number 665 in glory and praise, How Great Thou Art.
pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant we pray, O, o Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the will constantly at the work within us may be the cause of Unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord,
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis the First Hour Pope, William McGratton, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Let's be with you. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 Lord that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Our first communion hymn is number 502 in glory and praise, Eucharistic Litany.
Our second communion hymn is also in glory and praise, number 379, O Sons and Daughters. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our recessional is number 543 in glory and praise. Take the word of God with you. <laughs> 